9 Effective Baking Soda Hacks to Keep Your Home Pest Free Keeping your home free from pests and flies may be a challenging task, but what if the solution lies in a simple, everyday item found in your kitchen? Baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, is a versatile and affordable product known for its countless household uses, including cleaning and deodorizing. In today's guide, we will explore 9 effective baking soda hacks that can help you tackle unwanted pests and flies in your home. It's non-toxic, safe for pets and children, and an eco-friendly alternative to chemical pesticides. But, it may not work on every pest. Stick around to learn which ones might be immune to this household wonder. Let's dive in. 1. Cockroach Bait Cockroaches are notoriously resilient, but baking soda offers a simple, non-toxic solution. The alkaline nature of baking soda disrupts their pH balance when ingested, leading to their demise. Baking soda also acts as a desiccant, absorbing moisture from the cockroach's environment, causing dehydration and eventual death. How to use? Mix equal parts of baking soda and sugar to create bait. The sugar attracts the cockroaches, while the baking soda does the lethal work. Place this mixture under the sink along baseboards, and in dark corners where cockroaches are commonly found. Reapply regularly for best results. Fun fact. In a study with 225 cockroaches, baking soda killed them within 55 hours. Do ant repellent. Ants ingest baking soda, which reacts with the acid in their digestive system to produce carbon dioxide gas, a lethal reaction for them. Additionally, Baking soda may interfere with their pheromone trails, making it difficult for them to navigate and communicate. How to use? Create a mixture of powdered sugar and baking soda and sprinkle it near entry points and areas of ant activity. Keep reapplying if necessary, and soon, you'll notice a significant reduction in ant numbers. Pro tip. Baking soda's ability to block pheromone trails can prevent ants from locating food sources in your home. 3. Fruit Fly Trap Fruit flies thrive in acidic environments like overripe fruit. Baking soda, being alkaline, neutralizes these areas, making them less attractive to these tiny nuisances. How to use? Mix baking soda, vinegar, and a few drops of dish soap in a shallow bowl. The vinegar attracts the fruit flies, and the dish soap breaks the surface tension, causing the flies to drown. Place this near fruit bowls or trash bins, and you'll see results in no time. Hack. Keep ripe fruits stored properly, and always clean up food debris to enhance the trap's effectiveness. 4. Bed Bug Deterrent. Bed bugs are tough but they can't handle the physical damage baking soda inflicts on their exoskeletons. It dehydrates them, leading to their eventual death. While it doesn't kill them immediately, it can significantly slow down their population growth. How to use? Sprinkle baking soda along mattress seams, bed frames, and floor cracks where bed bugs hide. Leave it for several days, then vacuum thoroughly. Repeat the process as needed. Warning. Baking soda alone may not eradicate bed bugs completely. Use it with other control methods like mattress encasements and professional pest services for the best results. 5. Fly repellent. Flies are attracted to decaying organic matter. Baking soda neutralizes the odors that draw them in, making your home less appealing to them. When combined with vinegar, baking soda can also create a chemical reaction that flies dislike. How to use? Mix equal parts baking soda and sugar, and add a small amount of vinegar. Place the mixture in a shallow bowl, cover with plastic wrap, and poke holes in it. The flies will be lured in but unable to escape, helping reduce their population. Quick tip. Regular cleaning and waste management will improve the trap's effectiveness. 6. Silverfish Control Silverfish thrive in damp, dark environments, feeding on starchy materials. Baking soda damages their exoskeletons, 
causing dehydration and death. It also interferes with their digestive enzymes, further reducing their ability to survive. How to use? Sprinkle baking soda in areas where silverfish are likely to hide, such as behind bookshelves, along baseboards, or inside drawers. You can also mix it with sugar to create bait for these little creatures. Tip. Leave the mixture for several days and reapply as needed. 7. Slug and Snail Barrier Slugs and snails wreak havoc on gardens, but baking soda's abrasive nature makes it deadly for them. When sprinkled on these pests, it damages their soft bodies, leading to rapid dehydration. How to use? Sprinkle a thin line of baking soda around the base of your plants or along garden borders. This creates a barrier that slugs and snails will avoid. Be cautious when using it near plants, as it may alter soil pH if over-applied. Plant protection. After rain or watering, reapply the baking soda barrier to maintain its effectiveness. 8. Spider deterrent. Spiders might be beneficial for insect control, but they can still become an unwanted house guest. Baking soda neutralizes odors and absorbs moisture, creating an environment that spiders don't find appealing. How to use? Sprinkle baking soda along windowsills, door frames, and baseboards where spiders enter. You can enhance its effect by adding essential oils like peppermint, which spiders hate. Home maintenance. Regular vacuuming and sealing cracks will reduce the chance of spiders entering your home. 9. Rodent repellent. Rodents can be a nightmare, but baking soda disrupts their digestive systems when ingested, producing carbon dioxide gas that they can't expel. This leads to discomfort or death, making baking soda a viable deterrent. How to use? Sprinkle baking soda along rodent pathways or mix it with food baits like peanut butter. While baking soda can deter them, it's best used alongside traps and professional services for severe infestations. Tip. Rodent control is most effective when entry points are sealed and food sources are minimized. Pests that may be immune to baking soda. While baking soda works well on many pests, there are some it won't affect. Termites. These wood eaters nest deep within walls, far from surface treatments. Mosquitoes. Baking soda may help in DIY traps, but it's not effective for direct control. Beetles. Their thick exoskeletons protect them from baking soda's abrasive effects. Ticks and fleas. Although it can soothe flea bites, baking soda won't eliminate an infestation. Conclusion. Baking soda is a powerful, non-toxic tool for pest control. From cockroaches to slugs, it offers effective methods to keep your home pest-free. However, it's important to remember that for larger infestations, baking soda works best as a complementary solution. Keep your home clean, seal entry points, and combine baking soda with other treatments for the best results. So, grab that box of baking soda and start turning your home into a pest-free zone today. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.